Grimm was a show that defied the odds during its sixth season run. While Constantine and other supernatural sagas came and went like a whisper in the wind, Grimm persevered, due in no small part to the series attracting a loyal fan base who fell for its magical enchantments and dark, some might say, grim charms. NBC's folklore-inspired procedural follows Nick Burkhart, a Portland detective and the descendant of a long line of monster hunters called Grimm's, a reference to the fairy tale scribes, the Brothers Grimm, whose work inspired the show. As the titular Grimm, Burkhart has the power to see through the human masks worn by Vesson, an ancient race of anthropomorphic beasts with a wide array of magical abilities. When Vesson become irritated, stressed, or aggressive, they undergo an accidental transformation that reveals their true form, which is where Burkhart and his team of monster hunters come in. I thought he was going to kill me. Why? He's a Grimm. It's what they do. What? A Grimm? Although the series never dazzled in the ratings, it drew enough of a committed following to carry on for the better part of the decade. But to last, like all good things in this world, the cult series had to come to an end eventually. So. What prompted NBC to drop the cancellation acts? Surprisingly, it came about in part because the show's creators felt like they didn't really have anything left to say. While NBC ultimately made the decision to cut Grimm from the schedule, showrunners James Koof and David Greenwalt told TV Line that they felt like they were running out of material that would keep the show fresh. For that reason, they weren't even really upset by the cancellation. In fact, the creators recalled feeling panic when they thought season 6 would be renewed for 22 episodes, breathing a sigh of relief when the network only called for 13. That limited order turned out to be a blessing, as the final season boasted a rich, mythology-laden storyline that might not have felt nearly so satisfying if it had been stretched out to a full 22-episode season. Fortunately for the fans and everyone involved in the show's creation, Grimm got to say goodbye on a high note, with a satisfying conclusion that wrapped up the existing plot lines and put a nice cherry on top of its story. Series star David Gentoli told TV Line that they were happy to get that chance, as many shows get cancelled without having the opportunity to truly finish their stories in a way that is creatively satisfying. It might have helped that Grimm was part of a larger zeitgeist. One part urban fantasy, one part police procedural, the show owed as much of a creative debt to Buffy the Vampire Slayer as it does to Law & Order. As a result, it felt like an oddball in NBC's lineup. But Grimm had good company elsewhere, debuting in a season that was crowded with fairy tale inspired content. While NBC was revving up the marketing engine behind Grimm, ABC was pushing its own buzzy new fairy tale riff, Once Upon a Time. Both shows defied their middling reviews to live a full life on their respective networks. Heck, after Grimm was cancelled, Once Upon a Time carried on for another year. And unusually, Grimm actually saw a ratings bump in its final season. While Season 5 hit a series low averaging 5.97 million viewers, Season 6 rose to 6.07 million. And that was apparently enough to convince NBC that there might be more stories to ring out of the concept yet, as a Grimm spin-off series with a female lead was announced in 2018. So far, no further details have been announced, although some of Grimm's cast members confirmed in a YouTube Q&A for Wizard World that there have been some ongoing discussions behind the scenes about their characters returning. And with Grimm and Once Upon a Time now both gone, it seems like there's a fairy tale procedural sized hole in the network TV ecosystem just waiting to be filled. Here's hoping they jump down that rabbit hole soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.